This is an explanation video how to make this WhatsApp boat using Selenium as well as Python. First of all, for installing the Selenium browser driver, you can directly search in Google. So here I have used the Chrome driver. So I have searched for Chrome driver. Afterwards I clicked on downloads and I will just see which version of the Chrome driver I need to download. Okay, there are many Chrome drivers. To understand which version I need to choose, I will just go to Chrome. I will uh, display the version of the Chrome first. Then I will download a driver that is corresponding to that particular version. So here you can see the second option over here and our Chrome browser's version both are same. So I will be downloading that version. So here all the three options are shown Linux, Mac and Windows. I have chosen a Mac driver. If you are running on Windows, just choose a Windows driver and that's it. Also, make sure that you know the file location in which you have saved the Chrome driver. In my case, I have saved the Chrome driver in my documents. So the file location I need to get first. So for that, in Mac only this method will be working. Uh, get info and you will be able to see where the Chrome driver is existing. So presently it is existing in users Vishnu Rajan documents. So if you are using a Windows system, see users documents or something like that. So next what we will be doing is we have to install Selenium. So for that you have to use the command prompt. So here in the Mac system I have used the terminal. First I open the terminal and I am just typing the command pip install selenium and I have pressed the enter button. So now you, you can see already it is installed in my system. If it is not installed then you can see a status telling like it is getting downloaded and it is being installed. So once you have completed the installations you can come to the programming part. So this is the program. Initially I have imported several things. Among that the first one I have imported the web driver for controlling the browser. In the second option I have imported a delay function so that the program will wait till one function is getting completed. In the third one I have imported expected conditions so that the code can check whether it is working as intended or not. Now the fourth one I have imported keys in order to give input to the search box as well as the message box in WhatsApp. Now the first part of the code what I am doing is I am getting input to a list named names. Over here I can give multiple names as the input separated by a space bar. I saw here how included input dot split here. What it will be doing is it will be splitting all those names and it will be stored in several separate memory locations in the names list. So if I am doing names of 0, it will be giving me the first name. Names of 1 means will be giving me the second name and uh, so on. Now our second part of the program that is I am entering some message and storing it inside a variable named string. You can use any name instead of that variable name string. Now the third part, I am just giving the file location in which the web driver is saved. So here I had already shown this location earlier. In my computer I had stored the web driver inside users Vishnu Rajan documents Chrome driver. So that location only I have given over here. So if you are using some other browser like Firefox 
the Chrome you may have to replace by Firefox and also the file locations you may have to replace by the file location in your computer where you have saved the file that is a web driver now the fourth step I have to open the website that is we are planning to control it via the browser itself due to that in the browser I need to open the web console of the whatsapp which is available at https web.whatsapp.com now what I am doing is I am defining a delay function earlier I, we had imported this function web driver wait we are attaching that to the driver variable that we have defined earlier with a delay of 600 that means once this wait function is called it will wait for 600 seconds before er any error is being thrown now we had included multiple names over here okay because according to our first line of code we are storing several names inside a single array so to iterate through that array we have given over here for i in range of length of that array so if there are 10 names 10 times this loop will be running correct so now this is the core path I'm defining two separate options one is a search box option and second one is a input box option in the search box what I am doing is I am finding the search box in the web.wapsap.com and in the search box I have to type the name of the person to whom I need to send the message and it will wait for 600 seconds up to 600 seconds for finding and if it is not found within 600 seconds it may throw in an error so this is the X path of the search box element I'll just explain uh, after a couple of seconds how to find the X path once the person is selected we have to send the message accordingly correct so for that same like this we need to click on the uh, message box also so we need to find out the message box also once the message box is found then we have to enter in the message box our message so again here also one X path is there that I will explain just now and finally at the end of this code you can see I have included for i in range 1 no need to worry about that you can just skip that also why I have given so is as a fun thing if you need to uh, spam a person with thousand messages or something then in this for i in re range 1 you can replace that range 1 by range 1000 and what it will be doing is this piece of code that is input box send keys string plus keys dot enter that will work for thousand number of times so that he will be getting the same message thousand number of times and in the input box dot send keys string means nothing but the message that we have input earlier that was a second step whatever we had done earlier and the keys dot enter means once we have entered a message we need to press the enter button to simulate that only we have used key dot enter keys dot enter so first of all in order to find x paths in two cases we need to find the x path first is of the search box and second one after selecting a person in the message box also you have to find the x path so first of all in order to find the x path of the search button we can right click and we can uh, click on inspect so you can see one code window has opened just right click on the code that is highlighted and copy x path from there so directly you have got the x path of the search box 
Okay, so this one is the X path of the search box. So this is the uh, X path of the search option. So now about the message box, we right click there and we have found out and the piece of code. We just need to copy the X path from there. So this one is the X path of the message box. Okay, as simple as that. So again, I am repeating. Step number one is downloading the driver that is particular to your browser. In this case, I have used Chrome browser and Mac OS. And our uh, second step is to download and install Selenium. So for that, we have used the pip command. And our third step that is to write the code. I have already explained the code, how it is coming. And finally, in the code, we had to include certain X paths. In this case, two boxes we had to fi find out and we had to give the inputs over there. That is, first one was the search box, searching for the user. And second one was the message box. That is a place where we will be giving the message. So in both the cases, we have just seen how to find out the X path. So finally, you will be just be copying the X path to the program and you will be executing the program as it is. So that's it. Thank you.